At the river banks of River Nyangores, eucalyptus trees dot the landscape. For many here, the trees have many economic benefits. And be known to many though, the tree has adverse environmental effects, especially when planted at river banks or wetlands. However, the Nyangores Water Resources Use Association, a group of environmental conservation enthusiasts, is encouraging residents to stop this practice. Wa watu wengi sana wanaesa wanaesa kulima paka kando kando ya mito, ambaye kikundi yetu ya Nyangores Water Resources Use Association ina pigania sana kuona kwamba eneo hizo sa sa karibu na mito zimehifadhiwa. They are doing this by encouraging them to venture into beekeeping at the river banks. Wataona umuhimu wa kuhifadhi hiyo area ya karibu na mto. Kwa sababu nyuki huwa inataka forage, inataka maua kwa ya miti ambayo inatoa nectar na kutoa pollen. Pia wanahitaji maji katika ya harakati ya ku, kuweza ku, kutuwekea azali huo wanataka kuwapate maji kwa karibu. Nyuki sisafiri saidi ya kilomita tatu wakitafuta maji. So area yetu tuko na, na, na pahati sana kwa sababu mto kubwa inapita hapa na vijito ndogo ndogo ambayo tunaziita springs. So tutanataka area hii iwe imehifadhiwa. Ndiyo tusuye mchanga isingi kwa mto. The group is encouraging residents to conserve river banks by planting an environmentally friendly tree species. Tunaangasia water security in the mara. So tunataka kila mtu achangie kwa kuhifadhi vichito ndogo ndogo na mto wetu kubwa. Ndiyo, hii mto Nyongores inaenda ikikutana na Amala in a form main Mara River. These beehives are a pilot project for the group and it is working. Miti ya eucalyptus inachukua 7 to 10 years ndiyo ipate kutoa polfit yenye inaweza kata ku, ili kuenda kuweza kuusa kutengeneza mita cube ndiyo use kwa factory. Inauswa ikienda sana ni 2200. Ukiweka msinga yako unahitaji tu kama miezi sita. Tayari ume umeestablish a colony kwa hiyo kwa hiyo msinga na hizo miezi zingine ambayo ziko juu uh, itakuwekea asali. Na asali unaweza vuna kwa msinga moja unaweza funga hadi kilo 20. Na saa hii with the local market real honey ama pure honey inauswa paka shilingi 1000 kwa kilo moja. So kwa kilo 20 ama ukitoa hizo hata products ambaye ina, inapatikana kwa ukitoa asali unatoa kitu kama propolis, unatoa wax, alafu unapaki na table honey. Kwa mzinga moja unapata hadi shilingi 1000 na ni mwezi tatu. Na utakuwa kifuna every 3 months unafuna. The group also engages in passion fruit farming. The nectar from the passion fruit is used by the insects for the honey production. In Salek village, the group in collaboration with the residents planted these bamboos to Sepchep Koiben wetland three years ago. Hundreds of villagers now depend on the wetland for domestic water. Nianzi inalete kano mzuri, so ma, watu wanapata maji savi, maji baridi, maji isiyo na tatiso lolote lile. Sai, mnafra kapisa kwa sapapu, maji msuri sana. Kwa ipen wakati tulikuwa hatucha protect, kwanza wanainji ama wenyeji wa area hii, walikuwa na shita mingi sana kuweza kupata maji mtoni. There is a need to conserve wetlands and river banks. Once this is done, the water in rivers is boosted. As the communities embrace environmental conservation, it is critical for the government and stakeholders to boost their effort for the sake of a balanced ecosystem. Dan Kaburu K24, the voice of nature in Bomet County.